All right guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this awesome Super Bowl themed charcuterie board. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And this is my first video of the new year, so I just wanna say Happy New Year's to everyone. Now this charcuterie board is also good for any game day or just any football theme party as well. So let's jump into it. Okay, so for this board, I'm gonna start off with this 17 inch charcuterie board that spins. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know how much I love to use this board. It's just the perfect size and it was only $25 at Home Goods. Now I'm going to take out my brie because I'm going to use this helmet cookie cutter to cut a helmet through the brie. Now since the cookie cutter was 4.5 inches, I got a larger brie than I normally would. And this one is about 13.2 ounces. But if you have a standard size brie like this one that's just 8 ounces, I'm going to attach a link below for another cookie cutter that fits perfectly for a standard size brie. Next I'm going to unwrap my brie and I've actually frozen this for about 35 minutes and this makes it nice and firm so I can evenly and easily slice the top right off the brie. Now you definitely want to work with the smoother side of the brie for this, that's going to make our design look a lot more crisp. Freezing your brie before cutting it truly makes cutting the top off the brie so much easier. I also like to use a large knife for this as well because it also helps to make the cut nice and smooth. And I'm cutting about 1 fourth into the brie. It's not quite half the brie but a little less than that. You want it to be thick enough so that it's a nice solid cut through, but also thin enough to get your cookie cutter through the cheese. And now that we've cut that off, I'm going to grab my cookie cutter to cut my helmet out. I also find it helpful to kind of dry fit the top half onto the bottom half, just so I know exactly where I want to place my cookie cutter. And that looks good just like that. So now I'm just going to firmly press my cookie cutter into the brie. Another fun way to personalize your board is to switch out this helmet cookie cutter for another one that is your team's mascot. So you can really theme the board towards the team you're going for. Now Brie does tend to stick to things, so from here I'm just going to gently pull away the outside from the helmet. And look how beautiful and crisp that looks. And I'm going to use a spatula to just pick up the other piece of the Brie. And you can of course use this on the board as well. Next I'm going to place this small ramekin here to the right. And I'm going to put some olives in later. And I'm also going to add this adorable foam finger, which I feel like totally gives off the football vibe I'm going for. I got these off Amazon and they were super inexpensive. I mean, look how cute it is, guys. <laughs> Next, we're going to start working with the salami that I got at Trader Joe's. And we're actually going to use this entire packet. But before we start adding slices, I'm actually going to lay out this cheddar cheese rubbed with hatch chilies that I got from Aldi. It has a little kick to it, which I thought was perfect for this game day board. Next, we're gonna create a salami chain with our salami. I'm gonna fold each slice in half twice, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with another slice and place them into each other just like this. I'm gonna grab another slice, fold it twice as well, and place it into the last two slices, and as you can see, it already starts to look like a chain. I'm gonna place this little chain next to the cheddar cheese to hold it in place, and then from here, I'm gonna continue doing the same process over and over with each piece of salami until we've made it completely across the board. Now, as I build this chain, I'm just gonna move it around and give it kind of a round shape so that it looks like a banner. And that looks perfect. So now we're gonna use these slices of mozzarella cheese and these letter cookie cutters to write a message on the salami. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I love to personalize my charcuterie boards with these cutters. So I'm just gonna press down the cutter on a slice of cheese and then use the little sticks that come with the cutters to push the cheese out seamlessly. I really feel like using inexpensive, simple cheese slices are key for this. A sliced mozzarella cheese or a porvolone or even a monster cheese is perfect for this. I definitely wouldn't recommend anything too decadent that's gonna be thick and hard to get out of the cutter. And for this board, I'm gonna spell out Super Bowl 57 in Roman numerals, which is perfect for this theme. Now, if you're doing this for a game day, you can just put game day or go in the name of the team you're rooting for. You can truly personalize it however you want, which is why I love this. 
Now I've used these cutters for so many different types of boards from Halloween to a birthday charcuterie board and I'll definitely make sure to link those above for you in case you want to check those out. And I'll also make sure to link below these cutters as well for you. And there we have it, Super Bowl 57. Next, I'm going to add some of this spicy bite-sized salami I picked up at Aldi. Once again, I thought this little spicy kick was perfect for a football-themed board. And I'm just going to layer these here. And for some crackers, I'm going to add some of these mini toasts that I got at my local grocery store. These are always my favorite crackers to use because they look so pretty layered on a board and pair well with just about anything on a charcuterie board. And I'm just going to layer these as well and overlap my foam finger on the last couple crackers for a more finished look. Next, I'm jumping in with my fruits. So I'm gonna add some green grapes right here. And I'm also gonna add some apricots, which are delicious and bring so much bright color to any board. I'm also gonna add some blueberries. And then I'm gonna slice some strawberries in half and place them on the board as well. Now, if you notice, I am placing all these fruits, leaving this space in the center open. And that's because I'm gonna create a salami football to put in this area. And I'm gonna use all these fruits as a border to keep it nice and snug on the board. Now I'm gonna use the rest of my salami to create this football. So to do this, I'm gonna fold each slice of the salami twice, just like we did when we were making the salami chain earlier, except this time we are not gonna interlink them. We are just gonna keep them all in the same direction with the folded side facing the inside of the football. And I'm gonna continue to line each slice the same way until it's enough for the border of the top half of the football. And now I'm just gonna move them around until I get that round shape that a football has. And we're gonna do the same thing for the bottom side of the football, placing the folded side of each slice toward the inside. Now it's really helpful to utilize the fruits to help you get that perfect football shape. Now to fill the inside of this football, I'm gonna create a small salami chain like the one we made earlier. And it only took me about seven or so slices to fill the center completely. The goal is really just to fill that hole in the center with salami, so feel free to use however many it takes for your football. And once it's nice and full for the finishing touches of this football, we're gonna add some stitches. So I'm gonna take out that same mozzarella sliced cheese we used earlier, and I'm gonna use a large knife to cut a line down the center of my slice of cheese. and that didn't come out perfect, so I'm just gonna use my knife here to straighten it out until it looks exactly how I want it. And then I'll follow the same process for the small stitches, trying to keep them all the same thickness and width. And for those final round stitches on the end of the football, I'm actually gonna use that football helmet cutter to get the perfect round shape on each end. After I cut out one helmet, I'm gonna use the same cutter to cut again on the same helmet. And as you can tell, it gives you exactly what you need. <laughs> and there you have it, a perfect salami football with stitches and all. And now I'm gonna go back in with the apricots and add some more around the football. Next, I'm going to use this aged white cheddar from Aldi and I'm going to cut even slices of the cheese and then cut those slices in half so I can layer them around the board. I love buying this cheese from Aldi because it goes such a long way and it's such a classic cheese that everyone always enjoys. And I love how that looks, so I'm also going to add some traditional pretzels to this board. So I'm just going to place some right here and layer the rest right here next to this cheese. I thought this was such a fun touch to a game day board, especially since pretzels are great with beer and most people love to enjoy beer during a good game. And next I'm gonna add some of these assorted nuts that I picked up at Aldi. I'm gonna place them right in this area and then I'm actually gonna top them off with some pistachios I also got from Aldi, which I really think brings some dimension to all the brown nuts. Jumping back in with my fruits, I'm gonna slice some more of those strawberries in half and then place them right here next to the brie. And then I'm also gonna add some more blueberries down here and some more grapes right over here. 
I'm gonna layer some more salami here in between this cheese and these blueberries. And next, I'm gonna add some more of that delicious cheddar, but this time I'm gonna cut it a little differently. I'm gonna cut some even slices again, and then I'm gonna cut each slice diagonally to create triangles. And then I'm gonna place each of those slices together, but in opposite directions for a fun look on the board. I love this technique because it's not only super functional and super easy, but it also adds some nice texture to the board. Next up, I'm gonna add some more of those mini toasts down here next to the salami. And then I'm gonna add a couple up here as well. And for our last and final meat, I'm gonna be using this prosciutto from Aldi, and I'm gonna make some prosciutto ribbons. So to do this, I'm gonna grab a slice and fold it in half, trying to make sure that I do leave some of that fat hanging out. And then I'm gonna fold the slice back and forth and pinch the bottom to create a little bit of a fan look. I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite ways of adding prosciutto onto a board because I feel like it just adds so much fun dimension to any board. I'm gonna place some up here in this corner and add some apricots to make it nice and snug. And then I'm gonna add another prosciutto ribbon here on the left side. And we are almost done, so I'm gonna fill the rest of this area here with some blueberries and complete the bottom of the board with some more apricots and add a couple more of those sliced strawberries for more dimension. And that looks beautiful. So now that our board is basically complete, it's time to add our olives. So I'm gonna use these Spanish manzanilla olives that I picked up at Aldi and just pour them right into our ramekin. And then I'm gonna use this delicious big spread to fill up the brie. Guys, I have to say, this jam is always a crowd favorite, and if you have never tried it, this is your sign to try it ASAP. I promise you will not be disappointed. Now this jam is pretty thick, so I'm just gonna give it a nice mix until it's nice and smooth, so this will help me easily fill my brie just like this. And I'm using my spoon to help me spread it out evenly, and that is perfect. I love the vibrant color it gives I really feel like it makes the helmet stand out and the color just goes with the theme so well. And for some final touches, I'm gonna add these adorable football flag picks. These were so inexpensive on Amazon and are such a great way to give anything a fun football look, whether it's cupcakes or a charcuterie board. Now these football flags are great for any football game, but another great idea is to use flags for your team. So I'm gonna add a couple of these around the board and there we are, our board is complete, ready for any game day. Watching. I hope that you love this video and it just gave you tons of inspiration of what you can do to create an awesome football themed charcuterie board. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And as usual, don't hesitate to comment down below if you have any questions or just want to chat at all. I absolutely love to connect with you guys. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!